Hello everyone, so now I'm going to discuss the example for the partial fraction. Step number one, to check whether the situation is proper or improper fraction. So by referring to the numerator, it is a power 2. By referring to the denominator, it is also a power 2. So now, this one considered as improper fractions. So in order to make sure the case become proper fraction, we have to use the long divisions to have the proper fractions. So where we have x squared minus 5x plus 1. And for the denominator, it would be x squared minus 3x. So now I'm going to put in the value 1. So I will have x squared minus 3x. Simplify the situation. So we will have negative 2x plus 1. So express the situation. 1 minus 5x plus x squared over x x minus 3 it will be equals to 1 plus minus 2x plus 1 over x x minus 3 so the value for a will be equals to 1 b will be equals to negative 2 c will be equals to 1 so that would be the part 1 so now we are going to look for the part 2 express the function given as a partial fractions so now my focus is this part okay so first check is it a proper fraction the answer would be yes ah, because the numerator is power 1 and the denominator is power 2 second part is it a simplest form so the answer is yes it is a simplest form and we can't factorize anymore the third will be determine the types of factor in the denominator so in this case, we have x as a linear factor. x minus 3 is also a linear factor. So now we are going to have a basic structure. So my focus is 1 minus 2x over x, x minus 3. My basic structure will be over x plus x minus 3. And then the numerator will be a linear, will be a constant because the factor is a linear, which is a x followed by b, also a constant. Next, I'm going to multiply both sides with the denominator, x and x minus 3. So I will have 1 minus 2x equals to a, x minus 3, plus b, x. So in this question, I'm going to use the substitution method to find the value a and b. So in order to find the value a, I'm going to look for the b and I'm going to substitute the value equals to 0. And for the second part, we'll be looking for the value b and my value will be x equals to 3 in order to make sure that the a is disappear. By substituting the value, so for the left hand side, I will have 1 if the value of x is 0. And the value for the left hand side will be negative 5 if the x is 3 so first part I'm looking for the value a so we will have negative 3 a so a will be equals to negative 1 over 3 and if the value is 3 my answer will be 3b and b will be equals to negative 5 over 3 so now I'm going to substitute the value a and b into the uh, fraction so my final answer 1 minus 5x plus x squared over x, x minus 3 will be equals to 1, negative 1 over 3x, negative 5 over 3x minus 3. So this is how I decompose the fraction. So here we are and thanks for watching.